Welcome to How to Fail. I'm Matt Hancock, and we are here in Ghost Recon Wildlands. So I've actually tried recording this a couple of times, but I had to restart for multiple reasons. Uh, but now I'm here, and I want to play through the entire game and just record what happens. I'm not going to show everything. I'm just going to. This is one of those games where it's like a very loose um, world, and you can pretty much approach any situation any way you want or something can go wrong anytime or you'll meet some random new people online so I'm gonna just record this and put the highlights together for you because I'm having a lot of fun with this and hopefully that will translate into an entertaining video so I've got my big boss going on here I've got my olive drab I've got face paint an eye patch on the wrong eye because for some reason I'm not allowed to put it on the other eye. I mean, I would have it be Solidus, but I, mean, I, I, I don't know. I I think we just want to play Big Boss. We don't really want to play Solidus. Plus, he kind of got his eye patch a little bit too late. Though I do have the cigar. That's important. Always important to have the cigar. I'm so glad there's a cigar. There's no headband in the game, but they have been adding like new headgear and other new stuff. Like, yeah, you can get now get, like, a Ghost Recon Future Warfare outfit, which I'm pretty sure wasn't there when the game first started. I don't know, because I checked out the outfits. And uh, they recently... It, I think they added a World War Two helmet. I think that's new. I think they're adding new stuff, so hopefully at some point we'll have a headband and we'll have, like, the complete Big Boss experience. So for now, we'll just go with post-Peace Walker Big Boss, I guess. Nope. Well, we're off to a great start. I'm really glad the ghost profile doesn't keep track of civilians killed because I don't think I could live with that guilt. Aha! Into the bushes, flyboy. Now, truth be told, I don't feel like this game is, like, that great. Like, it could be a lot better, this game. But with that said... There is something about, like, the freedom it offers you that I really like. Yeah, it just, it's just a very, like, it reminds me a lot of uh, Legend of Zelda. In that it kind of, like, dumps you into this world and just kind of give, you just kind of have an objective and you just kind of work towards that. And pretty much everything you do kind of helps that. So, um, it was about here. So, this is the guy we're after, this guy, El Sueño. Um, and to get him, we need to take out each of his uh, lieutenants, who each have their own underboss, and each of them have several people working for them. And each of them owns, or is like operating, a different region. So, right now we're here in the first region, and uh, I'm going to take this by difficulty, uh, just out of convenience. But you can, I like that you can like, you have that option to approach anything in any order that you want. So you could like, totally focus just on the security guy, then move on to the next one. In fact, I might do that. Yeah, you know what? Screw difficulty. I'm gonna, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna focus on the security guys. I think that they have like, the hardest areas. Yeah, they're all like, five star areas. You know, let's go by difficulty. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, maybe I can change my mind. Maybe I can do whatever I want. See this guy here? Maybe I should, could shoot him. But you know what? I'm not going to do that. You know why? Because I'm a crazy person who doesn't like killing people in video games. Seriously, if I have, like, the option to take people alive, I will. I like to think of it as the assassin's way. You kill one to save a thousand. That doesn't mean that you kill, like, ten. You know, when they don't have to die. I don't like him. Oh. That's a kill. <laughs> Bet you wish he didn't turn around there then. Well, there was no help in that. Well, oh, that was an explosion. That's one thing about this game. I don't know if it's because if it's like programmed to be random explosions sometimes, or if that's AI cars driving off the side of a cliff. Either way, it's always amusing somehow. Yeah, well, be careful you shoot can't move bodies, but they're going to alert people. Maybe. And you. That's a kill. 
shot, 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 chicken. Pet the chicken, pet the chicken. No. Stay focused. But chicken, Zeddy. I'll be back for them. And boom. Sniper rifle, bitch. Oh, this doesn't look good. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna slow down. Yeah, we're going to slow mo. And I think the game might have crashed. Yuri and Polito does not mean chicken. Where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk. La Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non stop. For 47 hours straight. That can't be healthy. Not just for the guy who died, but also for them. I mean, two days without sleep? What's that gonna do to a person? Okay, I'm back from the game crashing. Uh, turned out that it reset the game back to when that guy was at the farm. So I just had to run over and do that again and put the scope onto my assault rifle, which, you know, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Hopefully, we're gonna get some more stuff later on. Uh, alright, so, first thing I want to do is check out these babies, because these guys are intel files, which will help you uh, find things. So, like, weapon mods, uh, side missions, stuff like that. Hey, those are the people I'm gonna kill. Ladies and gentlemen, the man whose mustache is permanently a part of his frown. All right, I was just joining me, so now we're gonna go get some intel. Okay, got a narco next to the sandbag. Because spotted. Put it with the sun. Is the sun from Super Mario Brothers? He's working for the cartel. Yeah, I kind of wish he had to die from Metal Gear Solid. I kind of wish I was playing Metal Gear Solid. I'm just gonna say it. I kind of wish that I was playing this game, but Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> then again, I feel like that about pretty much every game I play. Word of advice: If you see a guy without a shirt, he's probably a gangster. All right, can you aim at uh, one? Oh. Too late. You saw me. He had to die. Let's go take a look, see what that is. There we go. Now we're doing it. Oh, come on. Don't stop there. What if it is like he's like debating whether or not to, not to go check on the noise? He just hears from upstairs. Go up the stairs! Is, is that you, God? Yeah. I want you to go up the stairs. In the name of Jesus. Dead. Oh, I rethought. I failed. I failed. Uh, don't worry, we haven't failed yet. Speaking of liberation, just feed, free some friends. Well, <laughs> we had some friends. It's just one guy. Got him. Correction, you got him. Good job, Amish. Yeah, threw a grenade and bounced off the wall and landed in front of the people. He <laughs> <laughs> just saw him explode. Oh, guy here. Who stores that intel in a church? You think he like puts in front of um, this weird version of Jesus that they've got? And it's like, all right, I'm counting on you, Jesus. Watch over this intel. Don't let any rebels get a hold of this, okay? I'm trusting you. And then Jesus just watched me take the intel. Maybe something that tells us something. where he and his girlfriend are. Yeah, it's the freaky version of Jesus. Except it's the Grim Reaper. Dude, don't shoot death, Jesus! He can kill you! With his mind! I can kill him. You cannot kill him, that's the whole point. He is Jesus, but also the Grim Reaper. Kill him with my liberty. Alright, you can say that, but that's not going to do anything about the fact that he's a fucking skeleton with a giant scythe. And let me tell you, a gardening tool is quite possibly the deadliest weapon in existence. Everybody knows this. Have you seen this on the wall? Uh, what is this on the wall? Uh, funny. I don't get it. How can you not get it? I see a giant snake. It's funny. How's it funny? <laughs> what it says. Um, worth a me... Lever. 
Wait, you could read Spanish? What does it say in Spanish? Oh. <laughs> I can read Spanish, I can't pronounce it. Oh, do you know it's a joke then? <laughs> That's one of the message you had. <laughs> well, it worked. Is there anybody by the intel case? Dude! You were going to save him! He is safe. He was going to tell everybody about what happened here. How could he spread the gospel of us killing people if he's dead? Deaf Jesus would not approve. Come up here. Is this more Spanish you can't read? Looks like this dude is a fan of divas. <laughs> Who could blame him? He's not dead. Yeah. Yeah, I guess he is. He worshipped the wrong thing. Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with worshipping the divas. I just wouldn't count on them to save you from the soldiers. This is why you pray to Deaf Jesus. Unfortunately, I am praying to the same god. Shall we get it? Yep, you told me. <laughs> well, as we go all the way with this. Say the word, boss. There's one. Alright, take out the front car. That's cool. Alright, they're out. They hate that matters. Nice job. The rebels will make great. Did a bit too much damage so we didn't get all the supplies, but at the very least we tagged it. Do we need this plane? Uh, yeah. It's got fuel on it. Why are you planning on blowing it up? No. Alright. There's a file down there, so I'll go get that if you want to take the helicopter back. The plane back, even. Okay, hold down the right trigger to accelerate. And, uh, pull down on the left stick in order to fly up. Alright, when you get to the landing strip, give yourself enough runway space and then hold down the left trigger to slow yourself down. You might want to use night vision so you can see the runway. I am on the side of a mountain. Uh, it hasn't been destroyed yet, so you should be able to take off. Shit, the plane's well, mission's <laughs> over. <laughs> what happened? There was another tree. <laughs> so this simulator goes better than the last one. Come on, take the bait. You know you wanna. Yeah, what's that noise? Dead. Frag out. Get some. Target is down. What? Each the snipers are isolated, so taking those out would be a huge help. Yeah, most of these guys I can just pull out of the bed and knock out. Close. No cigar. Go back to murdering people in the bits. Look, I'm not a snitch, but let's just say, yeah, they freak me out. The thing is, they're not even in Itaqua. So call them back to Itaqua. Tell them you've got a package ready. Uh, Alright, got what we needed. I call this one the Anakin Stock. Is that where you kill the women and children? <laughs> you soon? <laughs> Dude, he killed a lot of younglings and you're just making fun of it. Alright, let's get to the boats and get out of here. I'm in the chopper. Alright, you take the chopper, I'll take the boat. The one that doesn't require a parachute. <laughs> I'm the helicopter. Well, and that'll be me done. Ugh, you gonna stay on for a bit? Yeah, I'm gonna head off. Alright, I'll see you later.